DNA. Sniff, sniff, I heard, followed by heavy breathing on the other end. Oh my God, I can't believe this. This is crazy. What am I going to do? First, you have to calm down. I digress. My passenger and I had just arrived at the mausoleum where my mother was to be interned. My son parked next to me. He and his girlfriend were getting out of his car. For some reason, when she turned, I saw her stomach. I sure hope there's no bun in that oven, I said. My passenger laughed. Months later, Mom, I need to tell you something. You probably already know. Arvani's pregnant. Pregnant? How do you know it's yours? Mom, I know it's mine. But if you want, when the baby's born, I'll have a paternity test done. Haven't you and Arvani broken up a couple of times? I'm sure you both dated other people, right? Well, yeah. So? Okay, Ma, but if the baby is mine, I won't be a deadbeat dad. Fast forward. Arvani was in labor. My son called. It's a beautiful girl, Mom. Gotta go. I'm gonna call you later. Wait, please don't sign the birth certificate. He answered gruffly. Yeah, Ma, I hear you. Love you. Love you too, Ma. When they brought the baby over and I held her in my arms, an enormous wave of love engulfed me. Silently, I prayed over the baby. I asked God to forgive me for initially rejecting one of his creations. One day, about a year later, I received a call. Ma, something was wrong. She's not mine. This time I did the test myself. Ma, she's my best, well, what used to be my best friend's baby. Oh my God, I said. 